Welcome to Quirky French Podcast, the podcast that helps you speak more confidently, feel more focused, and be more in control of your French learning journey. Prêt? C'est parti! Today, I want to talk about sailboats, and I'm dead serious. Do you know what sailboats and learning French have in common? You'll find that soon. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about fluency, especially how to design your own path to fluency. So if you want to develop your speaking and if you don't know where to start, or if you feel like giving up because you've tried so hard to improve your speaking and you still don't feel fluent, then you're going to love this episode because I'm going to be sharing my tips on how to reach fluency in your own terms. But more importantly, if you're stuck right now and if you feel like you're in the plateau stage, this episode is going to help you understand why you might be plateauing and what to do about it. Okay, so what is fluency? It is such a complex topic to explore. In fact, it's kind of a controversial topic and a lot of people and linguists even will have their own definition of fluency. So there are some common grounds and common criteria, and I think it's important to explore the concept of fluency in a way that is meaningful to you. So the whole point of this episode is to help you explore this concept, to understand the many aspects of fluency, to get clarity on what is involved when we talk about fluency, so that you can design your own definition, your own framework to develop your speaking and reach your language goal in your own quirky little way. So this episode may completely change the way you think about fluency, but it's going to change it for the better. It will make everything so much clearer for your learning. I'm going to talk about what fluency is not, and I'm also going to talk about the three dimensions of fluency, what that means to you, Uh, for your learning. And also I'll walk you through the free worksheet that you can download um, with today's episode. This tool is going to take things one step further and it's going to help you implement strategies to develop your speaking in your own and unique way. And I'll tell you why later in this episode. But first, I want to make sure that you've listened to and applied the work suggested in episode four, Goal Setting. Because once you're very clear with your language goal, you'll have an idea of how fluent you want to be and need to be. So if you haven't done so already, pause this episode and I'll see you in episode four first. Otherwise, keep on listening. Okay, first of all, let's dispel some myths about fluency. One simple reason why you're struggling to reach your goal could be that you have misconceptions about fluency. So being clear on what fluency isn't is going to help you be more focused, is going to help you be more deliberate with your studying, and it will help you feel a lot more relaxed because you will have realistic expectations. Okay, so a few myths here. One, it's a myth to believe that you're either fluent or you aren't. There isn't a point in your learning that says, that's it, you've reached the point of fluency. It's more like a spectrum and it really depends on a lot of factors. You could be fluent in one area and not at all in another area, even in your own mother tongue. For example, I know nothing about curling, so I wouldn't be very fluent, you know, if I were to have a conversation on that topic. Number two, it's really unhelpful to think that becoming fluent is a linear process because it isn't. You might feel pretty fluent one day and you could struggle the next, regardless of your level, and that's completely normal. And that really depends on a lot of factors, where you are in your learning, your goals, but I'll tell you more on that later. And finally, fluency is not the end goal. And I think this one is a major myth. I know that many of you want to reach fluency as your ultimate goal. I understand that. And even as a coach, you know, my mission is to help you reach fluency if you wish to do so. But you'll soon learn that fluency is not the end goal, actually. If anything, it's only the beginning, but I'll explain more shortly. So basically, it's super important to be aware of those myths and unrealistic expectations about fluency because they can prevent you from learning effectively and reaching your goal. 
Okay, now, instead of telling you what I think fluency is, I'm simply going to talk about three concepts that people seem to mix up a lot. And I really want you to think about those concepts and understand them. Those three concepts are going to be the foundation for your own definition and your own approach to studying. So once you're clear on them, your French, your confidence and your ability to learn what you want to learn are going to skyrocket and nothing will stop you. So let's talk about those three concepts, those three dimensions. Fluency, accuracy and complexity. First of all, I want you to think about those terms, fluency, accuracy, complexity. Do you know the difference? All three concepts interact with each other and that's one of the reasons that people mix them up so often. Each concept is simple to understand and yet the difference between them is huge and often confused by learners. So what is meant by fluency, accuracy and complexity? Well, first of all, fluency is about being competent at communicating. So the most common criteria include things like, you know, you're able to produce language with ease. It feels effortless. You can speak with relatively good intonation, vocabulary, syntax and grammar. And I say relatively, though, because it doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough. You can get your point across coherently. You can talk for a while. You're not causing misunderstandings. You know, there aren't any major gaps or disruptions in your speech. So basically, fluency is about the flow. It flows well. Now, let's talk about another aspect of language development, accuracy. So when we think about language development and speaking, we need to be aware that fluency is actually just one aspect. Think about it. Fluency does not mean accuracy. You can speak fluently and make quite a lot of mistakes. So when we talk about accuracy, you have to consider grammatical accuracy. You know, are you following the rules of the language, but also word choice? Are you choosing appropriate vocabulary and pronunciation? Things like stress, rhythm, pitch, intonation. And by the way, I think a lot of people understand the concept of grammatical accuracy and word choice. But if you think about pronunciation... I just want to stress that pronunciation is not just for clarity of meaning, but also clarity on the emotion you want to convey. But we'll have opportunities to discuss this in future episodes. Now, and more importantly, fluency does not mean complexity. And this is where it can get tricky for learners. You can be fluent and pretty accurate, and yet still have a fairly, you know, quote unquote, underdeveloped, pretty basic grammar. And for that reason, you'll feel like you're not making much progress or you'll feel like you're in the plateau stage. You can express yourself, but your language is still pretty basic and you wish you could produce a richer and more elegant language with nuances and subtleties. So think about complexity as your linguistic toolbox. How many tools are you able to use to communicate? How elaborate and varied is your language? What does that all mean for you? What are the benefits of knowing all of that? First of all, instead of having this vague and broad and more importantly, this inaccurate definition of fluency, now you know that fluency is not the end goal. And also, if you're listening to my podcast, you're probably either somewhere in the learning plateau stage or just really unsure about how to improve your conversation skills. But if you want your French to really take off, you need to think about those three aspects, those three dimensions. Fluency, how fast. Accuracy, how well. And complexity, how hard. Now, this is just, you know, in a nutshell. But this is kind of helping you distinguish all three uh, aspects, all three elements. And you'll gain a lot more control over your learning. You'll be able to monitor your progress much better now because you understand the three elements. Besides, you know, when you're learning a language, 
all three aspects rarely improve evenly and at the same pace. You may have developed fluency at the expense of complexity and accuracy. For example, you speak pretty fast, but you use simple sentences and you make quite a few mistakes. Or perhaps your French is pretty accurate and complex, but you're not very fluent. So if you are indeed in that plateauing stage for the reasons mentioned above, I want to tell you, first of all, that it's okay and it's completely normal, but I'm going to go further than that and I'm going to say that it's actually a blessing in disguise and that's kind of my quirky tip for you. Use this to your advantage because now you'll get to decide what's most important to you and you focus on that. You know, depending on what your ultimate goal is, one element may be more important right now than the others. So why not make the most of your learning by putting your energy into it? And this is what I mean by designing your own path to fluency. Even though now you know that fluency is not the right word. So you get to design your own path to your language goal, whatever that means to you, by whatever quirky means necessary. So I'll tell you a little bit about my own story so you understand what I mean, my personal story. You know, in episode two, I told you about my story when I arrived in the UK. I was so focused on trying to speak and speak well, I mean, that I couldn't connect with people and I was getting really tired and drained and I really had to change my approach. And this is basically what I was referring to. I was so focused on accuracy and complexity. And of course, this is what I, this is how I learned because uh, I'd studied English at university and I had been taught that way. And so I was so focused on this that I was struggling with fluency. So I had to adjust a little bit. So I reverted back to using pretty simple sentence structures. I was more relaxed. My French accent came through a little bit more and I allowed my brain to access information faster, speak more spontaneously process information faster. And it was a choice I made because that's what mattered at the time. In day-to-day -day situations, you know, accuracy was not very important as long as I could be present and engaged, you know, in conversations. But over time, I was able to complexify my sentences again. And then when I started working as a translator and legal interpreter, I had to slow back down and focus on accuracy because my words had a lot more weight then. How I said things and what I said could completely change the outcome of someone's life, literally. So I had to be really careful. My point is, you are in control and you get to decide what matters to you at the time. Fluency is not the end goal. It's just one metric you will learn to tweak as you go. For example, right now, as I'm speaking into this mic, I'm aware that my pronunciation may not be perfect. In fact, I'm probably making a few mistakes too, but I'm not trying to be super accurate or too complex here. I could discuss that very same topic using a lot of linguistic jargon and be very formal about it, but I'm really just trying to be relatable and share a message right now, even though you know nothing about linguistics. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. So that's my message for you today. Use your strength as well as what you perceive to be your weaknesses, because they're probably your strengths as well. And you can develop your skills in a way that is meaningful to you. So just cultivate your quirks in a way that serves you, because it's not just about fluency. It's about yourself. It's about how you feel in the moment. It's about what you think is most important to you. Now, on this episode's page, so you can go to quirkyfrench.com forward slash podcast forward slash episode five, you can download a worksheet that will help you design your own learning and develop in the area that you want. And you'd be surprised how much easier your learning will become once your goal is in alignment with what you focus on. And of course, at any point in your learning journey, you can change that and you can focus on something else over time. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced learner, this tool is going to save you time and effort because you'll be learning French in a way that's relevant to you. 
You'll be learning French the way you'll be using French. So the worksheet will take you through a series of questions and activities that will first allow you to align your learning with your goal by helping you focus and expand on the area that you feel is the most relevant to you right now. And so if you've been plateauing for a while, you'll see what's going to happen. Instead of exhausting yourself and trying to sail against the wind, now you'll know how to maneuver your way up to your goal, just like a sailboat. That was my little reference. <laughs> so get to your goal a lot faster by letting the wind push you where you want to go. Stop trying to face your goal head on. You can now just learn to maneuver your way up to your goal like a sailboat. Okay, so in future episodes, we'll discuss the learning plateau in more detail. And also I've got a specific series of episodes dedicated to each of these elements. Uh, you know, today's episode was just an introduction to those three elements. But in the uh, future series, you're going to learn even more tips and really specific tips that will help you develop each area. So keep your eyes open and I'll have some interesting things you'll want to discover. That's it for today's tips. So let me hear from you now. Has your definition of fluency changed? And will you focus on something new in your learning now? I can't wait to find out, as usual. So let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to reply. Okay, so have a fantastic week, full of happy learning. And remember, keep learning, keep growing and keep it quirky. Allez, salut et à la prochaine